I'm going to expose the plate for a minute in my UV uh, LED light box. So it's going to stay in there for one minute only and then I'm going to process the plate, wash it out uh, and etch the plate. So to process the plate I've got a tray of water uh, with 25 degrees um, water temperature. Uh, that can vary between 20, 20, uh, between 22 and 25, that's fine. Uh, I've got a sponge, which is a nice thick sponge. Uh, that is, this, these sponges are used for lithography, and I find them really good because you can um, uh, grip them quite comfortably. So the plate uh, is uh, printed, and before I put it into this tray of water, I'm going to just wash off the ink layer under just some running water. You can see how that's... And then put it into the tray to process. And the reason why I took the ink off first is to keep this wood tray uh, clean, the water clean. So now I'm going to etch the plate with water and I'm using a flat uh, sponge, um, quite uh, a, a hard pressure, not, not overly aggressive, but uh, it's not faint pressure either. It's, it's a, uh, the, uh, I'm, I'm really making sure that I've got a, uh, I can feel the plate underneath under my sponge. So just wash away the ink, the sorry, the, the polymer, the, the polymer that hasn't been exposed uh, to the UV light and which has remained soft, which is under the shadow parts of the image. And that is the polymer that's going to wash away the most and create the etch on the plate. Very difficult to see anything on the plate, but I can actually see that the image has etched into the plate quite nicely. So the washing takes maybe three minutes, two or three minutes, making sure that all of that polymer that has to come off has washed away. Okay, so once the plate has been etched enough in the water tray, I'm just going to give it a quick rinse to make sure there's no little debris on the plate. And then I'm going to squeeze my sponge and take off the excess moisture off the plate. Front and back. Squeeze it again. Take as much water off the plate as possible with a sponge. And then we're going to blot it dry. I've just popped the plate onto some blotting paper and with this uh, fine pages from the yellow pages, this paper, I'm going to blot dry my plate. This paper is useful in that it doesn't release lint onto the plate. So at least four or five bits of paper should get rid of any uh, moisture marks on the plate. So you don't want to leave any wet moisture marks on the plate because they will dry into the plate and then you'll notice them in your final print. Oops. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on the, when I do this, but uh, just a nice even That should be enough. So that plate is now ready to dry off, which I will do in my hot air dryer. And you can do that with a, with a hair dryer as well. It just needs some hot air onto it. I've just given the plate some hot air uh, with a hairdryer. 
So that's ready uh, to post expose to harden the plate. You'll notice that it's still a golden green color. Uh, so we're going to put it under UV light again and uh, you'll see that the color will change. So I'm popping the plate under some UV light. And I'll leave it there for at least three minutes. I'll close the lid so it's nice and safe. And then you'll see that the color the, under the UV light now for at least four or five minutes. And you can see that it's changed color. Uh, it's now more of a bottle green rather than a golden green. So that's now ready for printing.